And in this clip, we're going to look at jet siphons. Uh, really, it's not much different than doing a jet siphon on threaded fire hose. Of course, the issue is that we have threaded jet siphons, right? And we have cam lock fittings. No problem. Remember, there isn't a direction to the suction hose. It doesn't matter what end of the suction hose has the jet in it. So a lot of this is going to be based upon how the operation is going at the time of the incident as to what adapters you have left. So we have two choices. We can put a jet siphon on the male end or the female end of uh, the cam lock hose. So the driver's going to hook one up. So he's chosen going with the female end of the suction hose. So he's taking the male adapter. It's going to thread in. He's using the six uh, six inch NST female to cam lock male. That's the same adapter that we use for the dry hydrant. He's going to hook it in and set. Now all we need is that inch and three quarter feeder line. Alright, so let's look at doing the other side. For that one, he is going to use the six inch NST female to the six inch cam lock female and that's going to be for hooking up to the male end of the cam lock suction hose. Again it doesn't matter what I tell you as a driver when you get ready to run these jet siphons you have to look and see what resources you got left in your uh, driver's compartment. We carry plenty of these adapters to be able to flow two jet siphons and draft at the same time. Uh, that's going to be the case on both rigs so there shouldn't be a need for hey I'm missing an adapter. So it's your choice. I'm not sure there's a preference. It really is going to be based upon how you're set up to draft initially uh, and what devices you are using. Uh, you can go either with the male end or the female end. And like I said, just take a moment to think about uh, what all equipment you're using as to which one that you go with.